So my name is Andrew Zbik. Uh, I operate my own business named Creation Wealth and I've been a senior financial advisor coming on 15 years now. Why did I get into financial advice? I didn't, I fell into it. So quite an interesting story. Um, I did double degree at uni, um, you know, did finish uni, so travelled around the world a bit, came home, had never, ever even contemplated a career in financial advice. And I, someone I knew, you know, there was a, they posted on Facebook, we're looking to employ someone. Um, I just thought oh, I respected this gentleman, so I went and had lunch with him. And I was expecting to have lunch with him. I actually walked in and then he just goes, well, you're meeting my business partner. And uh, so then when I sat down with the business partner, they were like, well, have you ever thought about a career in financial advice? And uh, so that was a Wednesday. We had a chat. They called me on the Friday. I thought, oh, yeah, I'll give it a go. And I started work on the Monday. And that's how I fell into the financial advice industry. So before I came across Lumion, it was actually an interesting conversation we are having the other day of going, I actually think Lumiant's identified a problem before most advisors have identified it being the problem. Um, and that is, how do we get more connection with our clients? And I felt that we've always been very good at goals-based advice with our clients and very disciplined. But I think, you know, at the same time too, you know, inherent to the type of people who tend to become financial advisors, you know, we're very logical people, very objective people. Um, the emotional side necessarily may not be our strength so I, I've really found that it's how do you get that deeper connection with clients and I uh, really understand what's driving them and there's a bit of a, a shortfall in traditional goals based advice when we go yeah how much do you want to retire on when do you want to retire what do you want to do when you retire um, they're very number driven objective kind of discussions but um, to really understand what's driving a client. I think that's what was missing in our process previously. There was and has been quite a bit of chatter around values-based advice, I think, out in the industry. But I think for many people, it's still a buzzword. And it was really trying to understand, yeah, what is values-based advice? You know, my thinking was, well, I've got goals. You know, I've asked the clients what's important to them. I've written down their goals. So isn't that values-based advice? But I think, no, it's really shown me a methodology of um, how do we engage with clients about that conversation? And, and the challenge, of course, is with the particularly new clients, you know, you don't know them. So it's, it's what framework, how do you go about understanding what's valuable to them? You know what's the emo what 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 drives their emotions, and uh, I think you know again you know someone who's quite process driven and objective, in, in an ironic way it's it's a it's a process that I understand but enables me, and I think for clients to feel that it's not process driven you know it's a genuine conversation and a free flowing conversation, to hear about what drives them values what drives their values you know what 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 are the emotional triggers for them. And uh, yeah, that really reveals what's actually important for them. Oh, quite easy. I heard about Lumiant through Santi. So being um, someone who's been aware of implemented portfolios for a number of years, and uh, look, I think that's one of the the great things of when you do start your own business, um, you've got the freedom to find those partners that truly align with you. And I think there was a lot of aspects around the implemented portfolios business that just aligned with how I believe um, clients' wealth should be managed. So it was really just a natural extension of, um, you know, already strategy-based advice business already, but taking it to that next level of, yeah, what's driving our strategy and, really working out what's important to our clients. And that's where I'll see Lumion is just a natural fit. The reason why I chose Lumion, I think, is I can really see there's been a lot of thought behind the process and how the tools have been constructed. And it's simplified it. And it's very easy to implement with clients. And what I found is that particularly the the values that we talk about with clients, you know, to, to come down with a succinct group of values that actually covers what most people value, um, that I think is the value 
the uniqueness of the Lumion system. So um, it's good that you can take clients through a process that they don't feel something's been missed. And that's where I saw oh, this has got broad a broad application in our business and it can be applied to everyone. And that's where really um, I found that very attractive. What have I found that's changed since implementing Lumion? I think one of the biggest things is just the depth of conversations we're having. And I think one of the biggest ones, and it's a great example of a client whom I've been working with for three years, and essentially these guys... After we went through the Lumion process, we could look back that we'd been thinking very objectively from both sides, my side and their side, about what our strategy should be for them. So essentially, these guys live in a townhouse. Um, you know, we we're going down do more investments. Um, we've always talked about buying them a larger home, but the logic side always said, "No, go do the investment path. That's going to meet your longer term goals." You know, as discussed previously. But going through the Lumia process, we really worked out that actually this bigger home for them, that's actually the most important thing. You know, it actually showed us that for them, that's how they could care for the people they love about. Um, that's how they could invest more in relationships that are important to them. Because basically they came and said to me, actually, the problem we've got with this home we're living in, it's too small for us and we can't do those things. And they could really, both of them, beautifully aligned their top two values aligned perfectly and they go yeah this is the most important thing and we don't feel we're achieving it now and really it became very clear that all right we've got to get, get you a larger home and that whole investment strategy that we've been bumbling around with for the last two years that's out the window now so and i could see in the clients and ease of going for them what they thought wasn't the most logical thing to do i go buy a larger home with a larger mortgage was actually going to be the thing that'll give them happiness and they can see that we can still do other investment strategies. So that fundamentally yeah, changed. As I said, it wasn't knowing what to do. It was just what priority to do things in and that's what the Lumion system enabled us to do. We've been using Lumion in our business. Um, look, all new clients and going through the Lumion process and so we've just built it into um, what we call a foundations meeting with our clients. So it's really our um, first meeting where we really, once the client's engaged, really get to know them. Um, we tell clients we're going to go through values exercise and we explain to clients this is what is going to help us to determine what's the priorities that we're going to work on. Um, for the ongoing clients, you know, essentially any client that we sit down with and go, all right, we've got to come up with a new strategy. I'm saying to the clients, look, I've got a new tool. Um, it helps us to work out, you know, reprioritize what we're doing and we'd like to take you through it. And uh, I have not had one client say to me, no, I don't want to do it. Um, I think they trust you. And I think that's one thing that we tend to fear that, oh, what will clients think about us? But we kind of forget, you know, we are our trusted advisor for our clients. So um, if we say to our clients, and this is what I found is really important is the way I position it and I tell the clients, you know, this tool is really valuable for us to understand what your priorities. Um, I don't think, as I think about it logically, no client's going to say, no, I don't want you to understand what my priorities are. So having the confidence and just the posture to tell clients, it helps. Um, they trust us and they go through it and they enjoy the process. My favourite module in Lumion is the values module and the ability, of course, with COVID, um, can't do any face-to-face -face meetings, but the ease to interact with clients online with it. And that's definitely something that I've seen COVID's done with my business. Pre-COVID, pretty much all my meetings were face-to-face. -face. Yeah, right now, 100% of via Zoom. And again, you know, a lot of my existing clients have said to me, Zoom's really convenient for them. So I can see that is here to stay. But to have a, a tool that is so easy to use, dynamic, interactive, and colourful, you know, it, it, it's great. Clients engage with it. So it, it definitely you feel particularly in a digital engagement with the client, um, it brings a lot of life to the meeting. I believe the future advice is really evolving that we are almost like a chief financial officer or a personal coach for our clients because robo advice is here to stay. Um, you know, I think the era of you know advisors picking individual stocks for a client portfolio is over. Um, computers can do what was traditional advising much better than what a human can do. But I think fundamentally humans still want a human touch in the process. 
And I think it's about understanding that, yeah, we're there to provide that personal coaching and education and discipline just to take clients along a journey. So a lot more personable than it has been in the past. And uh, that's where, yeah, the limited values are bringing it to a point of going, yeah, a computer can't have a conversation with you about your values. And I think it's giving us advisors more relevance again um, to engage with clients. Would I recommend Lumia for other advisors? I like to be selfish and say no so that we have the competitive advantage. Um, but I, I think if you don't pick up a program like Lumion, you're going to become extinct. Um, I think if you're an advisor who's still doing the traditional, my specialty is doing a risk profile and managing your portfolio, computers that can do that. You know, it's I believe the future is strategy-focused advice, but it's really engaging at a emotional um, level with our clients, and that's what Lumion enables us to do. So, um, yeah, as I said, we're redesigning our processes essentially around the Lumion process and because uh, we just think it just gets us on a much better footing with our clients sooner. You've just heard from a really happy client of one of our Evolve Alliance provider members. If you'd like access to some great tools, services, ideas and resources to help you improve your advice business, go to evolvealliance.com.au and join the Alliance.